Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome to another week of Trust with Journey Weight Loss Moms. So, what can I say about this week past? Hmm. It was a kind of hazy. What do I mean by hazy? Um, I don't even know, but I went off plan, guys. I went off plan. Yes, I did. So I've had this thing ever since I've started my weight loss journey back in 2019. I have had this thing where like during special occasions, I'll go off plan. And that's like birthdays, anniversaries, um, date nights, or, you know, just going out for a bit. I don't get to do going out, the going out part, the going out part. I don't get to do that often. So now and again, I will probably splurge. Not for every time, but now and again. So I went to plan on Monday. My girlfriend and I, Ashley, we went out and we had an amazing time. Now, here's what I want to drill in you guys today. Okay. Even though you want to go off plan, right? The thing is, you have to have that mindset whereas you're going to get back on the bandwagon once you've already celebrated a bit. You're going to get back on. And I will also insert pictures of what we had. And I felt no guilt because I had already made up in my mind that, hey, yeah, this may knock me out of ketosis, but I'm going to get back on plan. During the next meal, I'm going to get back on plan. I'm going to get I'm going to get my steps in. I'm going to make sure that we won't make this cheat day, this treat day into a treat week, month, treat year. You get the gist, right? So I got back on plan and that was on Monday, like I said. And up until last night, I stuck to the plan. I ate ketogenically and I felt good. I got my steps in this week. I did not fully get 10K, but for six out of seven, I got all of my steps in and then some. So I just want to tell you, like, if you feel as though you have the mindset to celebrate a bit, not too much a bit, then I cannot tell you, oh, don't do that. You're going to knock yourself out of ketosis and you're going to, um, you're going to, um, defeat the purpose of being on keto. Okay. You may have a point to that, but that's only if you stay off course. Once you get back on course, girl, you can do anything. Thing. So, I just wanted to let you guys know all of that. I want to be transparent with you guys. I don't want to hide anything from you. You're going to know what I'm doing. And so, usually during the month of August is when we um kind of do our family vacation and stuff like that. We did not do vacation in August, but we do have a little something coming up this week, which will involve a little travel. So, <laughs> that's, another, <laughs> that's another thing, like... All right, maybe I won't stick to the plan, but you guys get it. Like when it comes to family, I take those moments very seriously and I don't want to miss out on family moments. Now, I'm not going to say go crazy, super indulgent in everything, but yeah, I just want to be able to celebrate moments with my family and not going off all crazy so next week which is this week we'll be traveling and that involves dinners and stuff like that so who knows i'll be taking you guys along so you guys will see exactly what i got myself into so yeah i wanted to share that with you guys as well but like i said i'll be taking you guys along with us so until I see you guys, and for you, it's going to be like a millisecond, but I'm going to head into church, and yeah, see you guys on the flip side, and thank you guys for all of the new subscribers, y'all share the content, get it out there, like, I know there are lots of people who are waiting and just looking to be motivated, and looking for people who are not superficial and who are real, because it's not going to be all daisies and roses every week. You're going to slip up. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, but you're going to slip up. It's, you're going to slip up, but it's the getting back up that is important. You have to get yourself back up. You have to get back on the bandwagon. Okay, guys? So I'll see you guys in a sec. Bye. Hey, everyone. So we are back home from church, and we just waited. 
and this is what happened yeah guys we are up 1.2 pounds am i bothered of course i'm bothered i am bothered i'm frustrated y'all i'm mad i'm vexed i'm kind of yeah I, i'm, I'm kind of mad i'm kind of upset but i'm good i'm okay because those things happen the scale is not gonna be down the hill every week you're gonna this is what your status is gonna be up down up down up down what do you do what do you do when you have one of those up weeks what do you do do you say to hell with it do you throw in the towel do you give up no we still want to work hard to get the results that we want so what we're not going to do is give in what we're not going to do is give up we are going to push ourselves to be better at it you understand until we break this plateau because we've been sitting at 259 for like maybe two weeks is it two weeks let me know in the comments oh i'll have to track back to see but we've been sitting at 259 for two weeks all right now i knew initially when i lost the um the 23 pounds it would have slowed up a bit mentally i was already prepared for that you're not gonna see those big numbers every month now what hindered me this week okay did i remember we spoke about me going off plan on monday did i eat that much to hinder my progress this week no no i didn't but what played a factor i did not track my calories since last week sunday yeah so it could be that me not tracking my calories and just intuitively eating mind you i know i stayed under i'm allotted like 1976 calories every day that's my calorie allowance and i know i definitely was not going over that but who knows maybe it's because i truly need a bm like listen this may be tmi but i gotta go i need about movement <laughs> that may be a bit too much for somebody but girl i'm gonna keep it real with you i need to go we need to poop okay so i'm not giving up no we're just gonna tweak some things and try to get back on track and try to do this and try to get back on track basically so right now i'm going i'm not gonna wallow in self-pity no we're not gonna do that i am gonna try to get some chores done get some laundry done things so don't feel discouraged guys you're gonna have moments like these what you don't do is give up throw in the towel you keep working keep at it until you crack the code until you break the plateau you keep going you keep at it and then you're gonna find great success and i have to believe that because it worked for me time and time again and it's gonna work again so i'll see you guys later i guess when i have my meal for the day yeah bye she's back again i'm back so whilst i was in the middle of vacuuming my bedroom floor i was kind of thinking along the lines like why didn't i calorie count like what was the reasoning behind me not logging my food into carb manager last week and guys my scale broke you guys know like sometimes when i'm posting my food on my instagram stories or whatnot you will see the scale in view because i weigh my food guys my scale went bad so i can use spoon measurements and i can use the cup measurements but it's not the same you will have accuracy when you use your scale your food scale so that's a tip for you guys and so i got one that i don't have to be paying attention to batteries or whatnot i got one that is rechargeable that goes with a usb yeah so that was the reason why i did not track my food properly last week the scale went bad i went to weigh my food tuesday i went out for my dinner date with my girlfriend on monday and tuesday when i went to um log in my meal um it would not come up the ounce setting it just stayed to the ounce setting and if you're familiar with weighing your food there is gram there is pounds and ounces there is ounces and then and then there's milliliters and it would not come up the ounce setting so i had to retire her and order a new one so yeah that was the reason listen you guys this week was so hectic i've hardly had time to pick up the camera and vlog so i just wanted to pop on here and say hey and show you guys my meal for this evening so we're having some coconut flour waffles the recipe is so easy and i am telling you 
delicious like even if I was not on keto I would have these waffles I think I even prefer these waffles over the Kodiak um, pancake mix I love these waffles guys so I just have four strips of bacon that I sliced in half I also have my um, waffles here and this is the syrup that I use if you want something that is close to the pearl millings aka Aunt Jemima pancake syrup guys get this one delicious 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 then I also have my crystal light in strawberry no it's wild strawberry I have that on some ice okay everyone so tonight we'll be closing out the evening with our yoga bowl yes I decided to go in with my yoga bowl this evening and I have two strawberries here listen my scale just went bad <laughs> so I definitely have to order a new one because that's a tool that I love to have in the kitchen to just keep me on track and so that I can be accountable but yeah my scale went bad today so uh, yeah so <laughs> I have my Chobani Greek whole milk plain yogurt. I have that. I'll be going in with a serving of that and that's like three quarters of a cup for 170 calories and it's seven grams of carbs, less than one gram of fiber. So roughly maybe about six grams of carbs for three quarters of a cup. So we're gonna throw some berries on our yogurt. I have a couple of strawberries and a few blueberries yeah guys so this right here this spread is super tasty like i cannot wait to dig in this is the star of the show guys this really brings the yogurt together so yeah let me assemble my bowl Alrighty, guys so this is my yogurt bowl this is so delicious guys can't wait to dig in and this is gonna cap off the night for me so yeah you have your healthy fats your protein and you have your healthy carbs in there so yeah guys this is it yums I have a crystal light and water. My crystal light is over there, nice and refreshing because it's been super hot. I have an avocado with some Himalayan salt or the Redmond's real salt rather and some red cracked pepper and parsley flakes. And then the main event or the main meal, I have a carb balanced tortilla that was toasted up in some coconut oil, a little bit of coconut oil. And I have some ground turkey on the inside some shaved Philly cheese steak. I seasoned it with onion powder, some Redmond's sea salt, and some garlic powder, mozzarella cheese, some pepper jack cheese. We have red and green bell pepper, some red pepper flakes and parsley for garnish, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my meal in. And this is it, guys. Hey family, so we got some happy meal today. I ordered this um, Keto Coach Blood Ketone Meter. I also had some of the, I also ordered earlier in the month some of the Keto Mojo testing strips, but guys, they did not work. No color change or nothing. So either I'm not in ketosis or they just were a bunch of duds. Um, yeah, so that was a bummer. I paid like $7.99 and honey, I would rather save every coin if the product is not going to work. Like, I don't want to be wasting no money. But anyhow, we had this on the way, so I'm not sweating it. But yeah, this is the actual blood meter and this is the lancet and testing strips or whatnot is in there so i am still in a fasted state today so i will be um testing to see where we're at and i guess you guys can stay tuned 
and then we got some of the low carb keto nut granola and this is in the flavor cinnamon pecan i'm super excited to have this because i love granola guys like regular granola i love to have that on my yogurt especially so to have something with a lot of texture to it that's me i hope the flavor is giving so what is in this and the calories are 160 calories for a third cup i usually don't use all of that for yogurt and um the carbohydrate count is nine grams dietary fiber three so nine minus the three six net carbs for a third cup not bad and those are the ingredients guys so we're going to be testing this out as well all right guys and for the final package today i got my goodies from chalk zero like my favorite chocolate company of course keto friendly chalk zero no sugar added i got some of the cookies and cream white chocolate keto bark let me show you the macros on there and you can pause this to see exactly what you're dealing with so there you have it those are the cookies and cream I also got the caramel crunch these are good as well and the macros are totally different on each um, flavor so you'll probably want to look out for that as well then we have the white chocolate coconut bark I haven't had this flavor in like maybe two years guys they are so good and the macros on that as well and now for our double dipped almonds and before we got get into the um flavors or whatnot listen chalk zero i love them i love this company they're shipping your stuff out with so much care and thought like first of all if you spend $34.99 or more your supplies comes in an insulated styrofoam box also ice packs y'all i keep these ice packs because they do come in handy $34.99 and up guys like where can you find that like that is so so good to me like chalk zero is the bomb i'm telling you so we have the double dipped almond in milk chocolate and latte these are the macros guys i got one of those two of the white chocolate dipped almonds macros for those and my favorites of course these are the milk chocolate and caramel toffee delicious mm -hmm.